Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another cooking show on our Ramadan uh, special. My name is Lukman Shadrach and uh, with us again is Nabil Roberts. Chef, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Shukra so much uh, for affording us your time one more uh, time and give us an idea of what we will be making today. Okay, so for today we're going to be doing two soups simultaneously. Okay. Right. First one will be a roasted cauliflower soup. Right. And the other is going to be a herbal chicken soup. Okay, nice. I'll explain a bit more about that one, but first let's just get these cauliflowers into the oven to roast a little bit. Okay, so just onto the tray. Um, onto the tray. How many degrees in the oven? 200 degrees for yeah. 10 minutes or so. Okay, and a bit just of olive oil? A little bit of olive oil. That's more than enough. Okay, no spices, nothing on Nothing there. for now. This just goes straight into the oven. Okay. Right, so what's right. our next step? Yeah. So now next step would be, we're going to get the rest of our base veggies into the pot and get them roasting. Okay. So let's do the, this one first. A little bit of olive oil in there as well. This would be for the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So we've got three garlic cloves, celery stick, one onion, one potato. Okay. That just goes all into there. And this recipe will be on the screen so our viewers can have a look as well. So get that one onto the eat. For the next one, same principle, mm -hmm. bit of olive oil, so over here we've got two carrots, one onion, three garlic cloves, two celery sticks and one potato. This one gets made in, let's say, two layers. Okay. The first layer would be your base vegetables. Second mm -hmm. layer is going to be your aromatics for the herbs. Okay, great. So we're going to run through that very shortly. Yes, let's just get this one roasting for a bit. Okay, so while that's roasting, let's go through these. So over here we've got oregano, lemongrass, rosemary, thyme, stick cinnamon, ginger and star anise. Okay. And if I may, there's a bit of story to this. Okay. Um, I had a friend whose wife was going through a bit of chemo. Right. And as you know, chemo really takes a toll on the body and Absolutely. people struggle to keep food down, get the nutrients in. Right. So I spent about five to six months developing this. Wow. And what you're left with at the end is a very thin broth okay. and all the nutrients from all of these herbs mm. are more easily absorbed by I the see. body I see. so for those who go, are going through chemo or are feeling a bit run down mm. this is the perfect soup for them it's not heavy at all it's really just flavored water right. but it's flavored with all the nutrients that your body needs to recover gotcha. so and also, the herb soup gets a chicken breast as well. Okay. But very important, skin and bone has to be on the breast. I see. Okay. We normally are used to taking it off and removing yes. it. Yes. Yeah. But you get, you get some oil from the skin and you get some very essential nutrients from the bone from the as bone. well. Okay. So we'll get the chicken breast into the base veggies as well. Okay. Ah, they're starting to roast a little bit. Okay, plus minus, um, what's the cooking time in that shift? Uh, as soon as these potatoes are soft, uh -huh. then it's done. Okay. Right. So let's give it 10 minutes. Okay, okay next up. Our uh, cauliflowers have been pretty well roasted. Okay. So now 
this goes straight into the cauliflower soup pot. Okay. And all that's going to fit, Chef? Uh, may not, <laughs> but... <laughs> but we'll, do, we'll use as many. There's, there's always leftovers for us to, to nice. munch on. Lovely, some cheese over. So this goes straight from the oven into the base veggies in the pot. Um, chef, do you, um, after this is all done, do you then liquidize it or do you yes, just wait the, until it's soft? I, I prefer blending all of my soups. Okay. Uh, occasionally, like with, with your standard vegetable soup. Right, you I'll, let that cook. I blend that as well, but I like to have a couple of pieces of carrot at least to chew on. Right, just for that crunch. Yes. Okay. So that's, I think that's enough in there. Okay, so we just let the cauliflower cook into the base veggies. Okay. And then, in, I'll say we'll give it another five minutes. Okay. And then we can blend and add our salt, pepper and some chili flake. Brilliant. How's the other pot looking, Chef? Let's have a look. This one's going well. This one, let's see. Also, let's give it another five or ten minutes before we Remote. get the chicken breast out of there. Okay. Close up that one. Yeah. So in ten minutes time, we'll come back to those and finish them off. Okay. Right, Chef, um, it looks like our ingredients have finally come to a yes. boil. What's the next step? Next step is we've got our cauliflower that's been roasted and has been softened now. Okay. So all we do is take this over to this side. All right. And we're going to blend it. Okay. We can always check the consistency after it's blended if we need to add a bit more water or not. We, we did go a little bit heavy on the cauliflower. Okay. So I will add a bit of water to this. Okay, brilliant. Just move it over here and then we'll season with some salt and pepper. people like to do is add croutons to the soup just to have a bit of crunch. Oh nice. I on the other hand prefer bolton. Okay, <laughs> alright. I see some bolton lying yeah, on the so, table. So you, you get a bit of chew as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll just chop up a few pieces of this bolton. Okay. And this soup can be made a few days before the time okay. and with the added bultong as for as long as the bultong is in the soup right even for a couple of days the the flavor of the bultong will permeate through the rest of the soup as well right so we just toss that into there give it a bit of a mix Delicious. And now we are ready to taste. Brilliant. Okay, that looks absolutely delicious, Chef. Smells lovely as well. And this is one of those soups that you can have in winter, you can have it in summer as well. Yes. You know, and you can very, like you said, put the croutons. 
get a nice uh, ciabatta going maybe yes. on there as well. And then we've got some chili flakes and we've got I some cream. I, I like a bit of chili. Uh, I'll, so I'll do the cream. I'll add a bit of chili to mine. And I think I'll do some cream as well. Okay. Maybe I'll add a little bit of chili. Okay, there we go. Right, so brilliant. Give that a bit of a mix. So we've got the bolton cream, cauliflower, chili soup. Mmm, I can. The bolton is coming through nicely. That's mixed through. Oh, I, listen, I can have this a couple of nights of the week, definitely. Very, very good. Well done, Chef. Smooth enough as well. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So that's our first soup done. We're now going to move on to our second soup. Yes. Shukran so much, Chef. This Fun. is absolutely amazing. Right, Chef, our chicken dish is almost ready to be yes. served. Uh, what's the next step? Okay, so... We've already blended our base veggies in here. Okay. And do keep in mind, this is a very thin broth. Okay. So there's not much body to it. And it's for good reason. Right. Like I said, so that it's e more easily absorbed by the body. Gotcha. So all we need to do here is our chicken breast, which we've shredded now. Mm -hmm. That goes back in. And then just season with some salt and pepper. And this, I mean, is to each person's taste. Of course. Okay, so some pepper going in. Just give that a bit of a stir. And like, I mean, you could probably smell it now, but it, it does smell very medicinal. Right, it does. But. I assure you, it doesn't taste as medicinal as it smells. Okay, brilliant. So just move this over to you. And I've left a couple of pieces of carrot there just to chew gotcha. on. Gotcha. To make it a bit more crunchier? Yes, because it is a very thin okay. mixture. So, let's pretend You've got a bit of a cold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where you're getting your nutrients from instead of tablets, tablets produced in a lab somewhere. Right. Brilliant. It smells delish. Remind us again just the ingredients that has gone into the soup. Okay, with the base veggies, we've got one potato, two carrots, two celery sticks couple of cloves of garlic mm -hmm. and one potato, yes one potato, so that's just the base for just about any soup. The difference with this one comes in with the fresh herbs, thyme, mm, oregano, rosemary, stick cinnamon, ginger. You can definitely taste all the lovely herbs coming And through. some lemongrass. Okay. Nice. Very light soup. Very light. So, nice. If you were, if you were a bit ill, mm -hmm. you could feel that this goes down a lot easier. Definitely. So you'll get all the nutrients from those fresh herbs without any trouble. Awesome, Chef Jazakala, so much. We really appreciate um, you coming on board and uh, giving us these fabulous recipes. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. And that's all that we have uh, for this episode of the cooking show this Ramadan with, with uh, Chef Nabil Roberts uh, and for myself, Lukman Shadrach. Have a lovely afternoon. Assalamu alaikum.